What's up, guys? Waffles here. Today, we're about against Max Caliber. For one thing, for the Battle Stars, got new quality, and um, also Rose Raid is all you. <coughs> and this is a Uni battle, and he used the Rose Raid. So I'm not gonna complain all that much because it didn't do all that much in the battle, but who cares? Chase straight out of the bat with my shiny tail, goes into a Doug Trio, and that's obviously makes me screwed. And um, Stone is gonna kill me, so that kind of sucks. So yeah. Volbeat goes down. All it did was trick a useless scarf on Booksy. Bring in Spirit Soul, because I know I can wall this thing for days, and I can get him from Will-O-Wisp. And he goes into the zoom, and I was like, YES! I did not predict that coming. I was like, whoa, I just wanted to Will-O-Wisp that Doug trio. But anyways, uh, he subs up predicting me to switch, because I know he- Because, um, seeing that sub, he's probably a sub puncher. Um, so now he's gonna switch, because he knows he can't touch me, because I'm like a, a freaking beast for two. And, um, yeah, I go up the Shadow Ball and come this OU Rose Raid. Um, but, eh, whatever, he's an NFE, so I'm not gonna complain all that much. He uses the Sludge Wand, doesn't even break my sub because I'm a, uh, special wall, uh, sub paint splitter. And he goes for the synthesis, synthesis, and, um, I Shadow Ball. It does a decent amount, and I get a special defense drop, which is really nice. But um, it kind of sucks for him, so he's got to switch out now. He goes into Magneton, and this thing was freaking beastly. Oh my god, seriously, this is just like a beast Magneton. This thing totally counters my team. I have nothing to do to take this. So he makes an excellent prediction, predicting my Will O Wisp, and now he Magnet Riser for some pathetic reason. I don't know why. He probably thinks um, my last move is HP Ground or something, but. You know, I, I was thinking of changing it to a hidden power, but not HP ground to HP um, fighting, but still. Uh, he goes Thunderbolt, um, it breaks my sub, and basically I want his sub broken and then I can switch out. So that's what I do, I go for the Shadow Ball and his substitute breaks, so that's really good. And, um, yeah. <coughs> now I run away, switch out, go into my Coffee Talk, because that's my only counter, and um, yeah. So now he was Thunderbolt and he paralyzed me. I was like, oh fuck. I'm screwed. Uh, it didn't matter all that much in the long run, but it did kind of cost me a teeny little bit. But the main loss of this game was actually my own fault. But, um, yeah, that's nothing. So I go for the revenge, predicting him to switch. He just sets the self rock. So, um, yeah. I get a crit, which didn't matter all that. Maybe it did. I'm not quite sure. He switches out into his zoom roll, making an excellent play and go death foddering his zoom roll. So that's really good. And, um, yeah. <coughs> so, he brings in his Dugshu, and I didn't know why he did that, because Dugshu has really slim defenses. Maybe he thought he could live a mock punch and kill me or something, but I just mock punched that thing dead, so that was pretty good. He goes into his Uxie, and I didn't know why I stayed in. I did not, and I also did not see that Zen Headbutt coming. I was like, holy shit, Zen Headbutt. And thank god my Hitmon top is a little bit uh, bulky invested, or else I would have died, and that that would lost me the game, because Coffee Top's the only thing that can actually counter that Magneton. So I switch out, because that's what I should do. He goes into Rose Raid, um, and here is where I made a really another really stupid prediction. Um, I sub. I should have paid for it there, because I could have, you know, made a good prediction, and he used, um, bloody, um, Leaf Storm, so, that kind of sucks. And, um, Spirit Team goes down. So, Rose Raid is kind of a big threat. No, not really a big threat. It's kind of a threat. I go to my, um, Shift tree because I get a free setup. So I go for the source and this was the most crucial part of the game. If I had attacked, I could have won the game. I could have won the game. Yes. That's what I said. So, um he he hit him powers and kills me. I oh my god, if I didn't sword dance a second time, I could have gotten damage on it. And then um because a plus two seed bomb would have done a lot. I mean like at least half. And then I could have gone to hit him on top and mock punched it dead. Oh my god, that was like the biggest mistake I made. So that cost me the game, not to spoil it, but it did. So, um, he, Uxie's gonna Zen headbutt me, um, as I sent my Stealth Rocks. And, uh, yeah. He 
he's gonna zen him again, and I'm just gonna, I know zen him is not doing anything, but I really do not like his way of playing the game, because what I'm thinking is he's going for the crit, and he eventually gets it, which is really lame, to be honest, I do not like it. I would have predicted that with Earthquake, so that kind of stuff. And here, um, he zen headbutts and gets the crit, I believe. Yeah, he gets a crit here, which kind of cost me. And my Earthquake missed, um, no, I misclicked there at Earthquake. The first time wasn't a misclick, the second time was. So, um, he's gonna keep zen headbutting going for more crits, which is really lame. I do not like the way he plays. But if it if I'm wrong, please tell me because I I don't I didn't know this guy well. I know he uploads videos. He used to narrate. Um, I used to watch his narrated videos, but he doesn't narrate anymore, which is kind of sad. But oh well. Going to my new Apollo, my novelty, um, Lunatone. Go for the charge beam, and then I missed charge beam, which didn't matter. I, but I could have gotten a special attack range, which could have made the game a bit different. I don't know. No, it didn't matter. So switch it down into Ambipom, which is quite a weird play. Because um, my psychic just absolutely dominates this thing because um, Amipom doesn't have that high special def um, defense and I am at plus one, so that's really good. So now here I make another stupid play because he goes into the OU Rose Raid and um, the Storm kills me, so that was kind of bad. I could have saved this thing for later because this thing does have rock polish and I could have set up and kind of swept if the Magneton was down. That kind of sucks. So, um, I go to hit him on top and fake out for the KO on the, uh, oops, no, it doesn't KO. But thank god I didn't get any parahaxes, so, um, the oops goes down. So that was really nice. Um, yeah. In comes the Magneton. <coughs> I mock punch, and, uh, this was where if I attacked with Shift Free, this thing would have been down. Because look how much it lives on. If Shifty went for a seed bomb, this thing would have been down. Yeah, this game would have changed so much, and I could have won. I basically would have won already. Because Magneton's the only thing that countered me. Because I can pretty much own the rest of his team with um, my other pokes. So I go into um, my Sand Slash, and uh, he HP some things. Uh, it's not super effective, so yeah. I stone edge because that's the only thing I can do after magma rise. And um yeah, that's pretty much good game already. So um I would say good game. Uh comment subscribe guys. I'll leave a comment about the new quality. Go check out his channel, I guess. He does upload videos and playthroughs, I think. Um also I have a uh, sack outro. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys later. Leave you guys to watch outro. Peace.